know, it's a surprise, right? Normally you only get me framed from like the chest up. But the reason that I've moved my entire living room around to have this set and why I'm framed slightly differently is today I'm gonna be doing a haul video. The reason for this is basically a couple months ago, I went shopping for some summer clothes. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you must have noticed that I've kind of stopped wearing black and being emo ash. And now I'm wearing lots and lots of bright colors. I say, well, I've got a gray top on, but you know. So I recently went shopping. I went to Primark, H&M and Select because that's really the only clothing shops that we have in Norwich that are in my poor person price range. So I'm gonna show you all of the clothes that I bought while I was out. I'm gonna show you what I think of them. I'm gonna try them all on, let you know exactly how they fit, stuff like that, you know, generic haul type video stuff. So let's get on with it. I'm gonna put my mug down. So the first place I went was Primark and I bought three of the Primark basics range t-shirts. They were how much? kept my receipts so I could tell you how much they all were. So I bought, they're called Stretch Crew Tees and they were, two of them were three pounds and then one was two pound 50. I don't, I don't know why. So these two were three pounds each. I've got a yellow stripey one and then like a kind of browny pink stripey one as well. And then a plain white one. So let's try these on and see how they fit. So this is the plain white t-shirt. It comes down quite far. It's quite a nice length. You could wear it with a pair of leggings or like, a nice pair of jeans. I think it'd look really nice tucked into some high-waisted jeans as well. Let's just have a look. Yeah, you know, it's a basic plain white t-shirt. You make some Drake in it. So what do you expect? Um, this is quite thick material as well. Like I have a bright blue bra on and you can't really see it. I don't think I'm like miles away from the camera viewfinder. I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments below if you can see my bra because it's the internet. Uh, but yeah, this is just the plain white one. Uh, I did have to get this in an extra small, even though I am a small on top, because I find that Primark sizes do run quite big, and they also shrink in the wash, like, they shrink like nobody's business. Thankfully my washing machine's really nice to me, and it shrinks them to fit me, rather than shrinking them to being too small. So that's the white one. So this is the yellow and white stripey one, I don't know if you can see all that well, I'll just come a bit closer so you can see the stripes. So it's quite thin stripes all along there. I think this is a very flattering style as well. Like it's quite tight and I do like my t-shirts quite tight, but it's kind of slimming. Not that I'm like huge or not in love with my body, but the sleeves are a really flattering length. I do like the fact they have proper sleeves instead of cap sleeves because I hate cap sleeves. They really dig in no matter what size you buy. So this is exactly the same style and size as the white one, but this one was three pounds. I presume it's because you're paying for the color and the pattern. And then this is the dark pink one. It's got a slightly wider stripe than the yellow one. And my camera is not having a good time with these stripes at all. It is more of a reddy pink than like a browny pink, which is what I said at the start. Now I've actually looked at it properly and it comes up on camera as more of a reddy pink. Um, but again, exactly the same style as the other two. This one was also three pounds. They're really soft material. Like I can't stop just touching it. It sounds so weird. These whole videos always sound really weird. Like if you take them out of context because you're just like rubbing your body. Oh God, Ash, stop. Moving on, I also bought a yellow polo shirt from Primark, and you will notice in this haul that I bought a lot of yellow. I didn't even buy a single 100% black item either, which is really good for me because usually I just buy loads of black. So I've got this polo top. It is ribbed slightly. Um, it's quite stretchy as well, and it's got a collar and some buttons. This was five pounds, and to be honest with you, I really don't think it was worth five pounds. And you'll see when I uh, try it on, it's totally see-through, like no matter what color bra I've worn with this, I've tried it with a white bra, with a nude bra, you can just see everything straight through it. And it's a real shame because I really thought it was going to be a bit thicker and like something that I could wear just as a little crop tee. If I just hold it up, you can see how cropped it is. So we'll try this one on and I'll let you see that you can just see straight through it. Lovely, so there we go, that is the polo top on. It is slightly cropped, but it is a length of crop that I really like. It hits like just on my belly button rather than like above my belly button or just under my bra, which means I can raise my arms up and I can bend over and I'm not like flashing the world. I look like I work in McDonald's. <laughs> um, it has got a nice little collar and then it's also got these three buttons at the front as well. And you can really bad, like you can see on camera, if I just step back for a moment, you can see the entire outline of my bra. I do have 
like a fluorescent blue bra on underneath this but i have this problem with every bra that i have tried on with this t-shirt is you can just see straight through it so you do have to wear like a bando or like a stick on nude bra but i still think you'd be able to see that through it as well it looks good with high-waisted jeans though so i also bought a couple of vest tops i bought a yellow vest top and a white vest top that's it they're vest tops these were i think they're like a pound each these were £1.80 each, they are definitely worth it, they have little adjustable straps so you can like adjust them to the size that you need them to be, which is really good because like if you're like me and you're like a total surfboard on top, completely flat, it's really nice to not have a t-shirt or like a vest top that when you lean forward just gapes open no matter what. So let's just quickly try these on as well. So this is the yellow vest top, I really don't usually show this much skin, this is a lot of uh chest and arm for me i much prefer to show off my legs so these are more for at least for me wearing underneath things like underneath nice jumpers or like baggy tops things like that but these come to a really nice length they sort of hit like just under your bum which is quite nice and again they're the same material as the t-shirts that i tried on earlier and they're still really flattering they don't cling i did get these in an extra small as well because again primark sizes do run quite big for me um, so yeah, that's the yellow one. And then that's the white one there. It's a basic plain white vest top, so I don't really know what else to say about it. Other than, again, it's really soft. This one, actually, now I think about it, is a little bit tighter than the yellow one, which is really odd, because they I got them off of, like, the same shelf in Primark. They are just different colours. They are exactly the same. But this one's a little tighter, whereas the yellow one is a little looser. And the yellow one's a little softer as well. This one feels a bit rough, but you know... It's still nice. It's still a plain white vest top. So the next item that I have to show you guys is actually the reason why I went shopping in the first place. It is this midi pleated powder blue skirt. Um, I saw it in Primark when me and Alex went shopping a couple of days before I went on my big shopping trip. And it is like the only thing that I was absolutely certain that I was going to buy. It was £13 and it is definitely worth it. Um, I got this in a size... Eight. Um, I'm actually usually a size 10 on the bottom, but this is high-waisted and it's elasticated, so that's really good for me. It has these really pretty, like, pleats in it. I am terrified of putting it in the washing machine because I know these pleats are going to come out. So let me just try this one on for you. Put the skirt on for you. I don't know if I can show you how long it is because my camera is as far back as it can go and I'm, like, right against my wall, but it, it kind of comes down to, like, it is a bit long for me. A midi skirt normally hits like just below your knee or like mid shin. And this does come down to pretty much my ankles. That is because I am five foot two. I am very short. I'm a small person. So if you were a bit taller, this would probably hit the right length on you. But I still think it's very flattering considering how long it is. And it's really loose and floaty. It's finally coming into summer here. It's not too hot. But it will get very hot, especially in my flat. I have, like, a huge wall of windows in my flat that faces the sun all day. So having something quite nice and floaty and light is very nice to wear. It means I don't overheat, I don't get too hot. And this is going to be really nice for the summer. I think it'll look really nice with this vest top or dressed up with a nice blouse and a pair of high heels. And this looks really good with trainers, which is great for me because I work on my feet all day. So being able to wear trainers with something is fantastic. I also bought myself a light summer cardigan. This is a woolen cardigan. I do not remember how much it costs. Let me just check. This cardigan was £7. Yeah, it's worth £7. It's a knitted cardigan. It's got... If I can just show you. So it has got stripes. These are actually navy blue stripes. They're showing up as black on the camera, but they are navy blue rather than black and i'll pop this on as well to show you how long it is so that is it the length of the cardigan again i can't really show you how long it is but it comes down to my knees it's got a split in the side which you can see there and it doesn't button up but it is very much meant to be worn just over something on like a chilly summer evening or when there's a chilly summer breeze it has got very long sleeves as well they do come down to just the very end of my fingers which i love i think it is the most adorable thing in the world to have sleeves that are too long and again if you were a bit taller than me this would probably fit you a lot better like it would probably hit your wrists it wouldn't come down so low but i'm small and it's very hard to find clothes that actually fit me properly so it's really good that i like oversized things so the last item that i have to show you from primark is this dress it is a another ribbed dress it's very similar in material to the yellow polo shirt that i showed you earlier 
Um, this one does have quite short sleeves. They are almost cap sleeves, which I normally don't like, but because they're quite stretchy, they do fit me quite well. And this is a very soft dress. It has yellow, black, and pink, and white stripes, and then it's got button detail all the way down. So I'll just pop this on so I can show you a bit closer. Okay, so that is the dress on. You can just about see, if I move a bit closer, you can just about see the button detail all the way down the front, and it has this really nice, not quite crew neck, but not quite scoop neck neckline. Um, it is very tight, it does cling to all lumps and bumps. It's also not one that you could wear shorts under. If you're like me, you like to wear shorts under your dresses so that you can bend over and be a bit freer. This is not one you can do that with because it will cling to like where your shorts dig into your hips or like where your shorts dig into your waist. Uh, if I just show you the length as well, it is a very short dress. It comes just, like just below my bum. Yeah, it's very flattering though. So, the next place that I went was I went to H&M. Now, H&M, I used to really love all of their clothes because they were a reasonable price, they were fashionable yet functional, and now they've kind of gone off the deep end. Like, the last time I went to H&M, I swear I saw a jumper that just said, like, rabbit on the front or, like, carrot or something like that. So I only got a few bits and pieces out of H&M, and I bought two items that I intended to wear as an outfit, so I will show you them as an outfit as well. They are the following. So the first item of the outfit that I bought from H&M is this pinafore dress. Um, I don't usually wear pinafores, so this is this is really branching out for me. It is a checked pinafore dress. It has a front pocket detail, and then it's got these little buckles just there as well. And I did manage to pick this up in the wrong size. I picked this up in an eight rather than a six. Now, I don't mind that too much because it was on sale, so I only paid £10 for it. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of mad that I paid £10 for it at all because it is not worth £10. It's quite thick material, but it's not very tailored. It kind of just hangs in a very boxy fashion, but it was on sale, so I, I bought it anyway. And I'm not too fussed about the sizing being wrong because H&M are notorious for having sizing all over the shop. So, yeah. And then the item that I bought to wear as an outfit with this dress is I bought myself what I refer to as my K-pop jumper. Because it's a very similar look to a jumper that one of the boys from TXT wears um, in, I think it's the crown video. It's another yellow piece. It is yellow and white stripey that you can see there. It's from the H&M Basics range, um, which is one thing that I do really love about H&M is they still have fairly affordable basics. This material is super soft. It is very thin as well though, so it is a little bit see-through. You do have to wear something either underneath it or over the top of it. Um, but it's oversized, it gives you major sweater pores, you know, where the jumper comes way down below your hands. So I'll just try this on as an outfit for you as well. So that is the whole outfit on for you. I'm actually really impressed. This outfit cost me 17 pounds, give or take a penny, which is actually really like nice. It's not often you get an outfit that is wearable for that price unless you order it off of like misguided or somewhere like that and then you just never know what size is going to show up so the dress is a little short it's even shorter than the primark dress but again i'm just going to chuck a pair of shorts on underneath it anyway so that doesn't really bother me it's not the most flattering dress but it's super comfortable like i'd wear this to work so i would never normally wear like plaid with stripe but i think this looks really good i think it looks really cute I feel like a toddler though, because I've got like, like just my bare leg rather than like a pair of tights and I'm not wearing any shoes. I do feel a bit like a toddler, uh, especially with my hair up in a little bunchy. I look like a five year old. I kind of rock it though. So the next thing that I bought from H&M, I bought because I got major clueless vibes from it. They had a whole section that was like yellow and black plaid and you could get like a plaid bralette and plaid leggings and like a plaid skirt but I ended up buying the plaid dress. Now this is a pencil dress, it is not a style that I wear very often at all and lo and behold it's another yellow item. As it turns out I actually really like yellow and I do kind of suit yellow so I'm really glad that I've actually branched out into wearing some colours. If I just show you this a bit closer up. So that is the pattern that's on it. Do you see what I mean when I say like major clueless vibes? Not so much the style, but absolutely the pattern. So let me just try this one on for you. Okay, so that is the dress on. This is made of a jersey material. So it's another one that clings, but it's a bit more flattering than the Primark dress because of the pattern on it. Rather than it just being horizontal stripes, you've got the vertical stripes as well. Uh, it's got really nice flattering length sleeves. It's got a really nice neckline. And it is actually 
actually the longest dress that I bought. It's so long that I can't actually show you how long it is. Um, but it hits like mid thigh, which is quite nice because it's nice to be able to have a dress that I can bend over in without like flashing the world. Um, one problem with this dress though is that it rides up when I walk, um, especially if I've got like a bag on my shoulder or like a cardigan. It rides up and I mean like it rides up to about here which is basically a long t-shirt. So I have to like walk like this and just keep pulling it down. But it's really comfortable. I really like this dress. I think it would look really nice dressed down with a pair of like nice trainers or some nice ballet flats or dressed up with a pair of high heels. And it's very flattering. I am pear shaped. I am much larger on the bottom than I am on the top. And I think the pencil dress style where it goes, where it kind of skims over your hips and then gets tighter is very flattering. So the last thing that I got from H&M was this t-shirt. Again, it's from their basics range. It's made out of like a jersey t-shirt material. It is quite thin, so it's not gonna keep you very warm, but I'm sure if you like pair it with a nice hoodie or like a nice cardigan, it would be lovely. So let's try this one on. Okay, that is the t-shirt on. It is showing up on camera as quite brown, but in real life, it is more of like an ochre burnt yellow kind of color. It is more yellow tinged than it's showing up on camera. But again, it is slightly cropped. It's that length of crop that I really like where I can raise my hands and I'm not gonna flash anyone, which is really nice. I can move around in it. It's very roomy. It's not big or oversized, but it's like, there's enough room for you to, you know, elbow some people behind you or whatever it is that you wanna do in this t-shirt. And I love the white piping details on the collar and the sleeves. I think that's called like a ringer tee style. I'm not 100% sure though. So the last place that I went on my major shopping spree was I went to Select. Now, I haven't been or bought anything out of Select for a couple of years and I bought myself what I was going to wear as an outfit and this actually turned out to be kind of a fail. So I'm just gonna pop the t-shirt on so I can show you what I mean. I've already got the leggings on because I needed them to try on this t-shirt. Um, but I'll show you what I mean when I try the top on. So here is the outfit that I bought from Select. The top was $5.99 and the jeggings were $8.99. I bought this because I thought this would be a really cute little outfit to wear. But the top is a little bit too cropped for me. It shows off just a little bit too much of my belly and then when I raise my hands it shows off like my rib cage. It is sat like if I was wearing any other style of bra you'd be able to just like see my bra here. Um, which I don't really like. I do like the black detail and if we just step a bit closer again It has got a frilly detail on the sleeves and around the bottom as well I think it's called like lettuce frill, which is quite nice. The t-shirt itself is roomy though I just think it would look better with a higher waisted pair of jeans Which brings me on to the jeggings now again. These are $8.99 I thought these were gonna be much higher waisted. I like a high waisted jean that comes up like way up to my rib cage, not just like up to my belly button. And these are not a size eight. I can tell you right now, the first time I put them on, I heard so many of the threads like snapping. It was like a little fireworks display going off. And if you pull them up too high, they do like go up places where jeans are not meant to go. So I have to pull them down, which means they don't sit like quite right to go with this top. I don't know, you guys might think this is a cute outfit, but it's just like, I think it makes me look a bit wide around the waist and that's actually my smallest point, like in here. That's where I am the thinnest and then I have just like a huge bum. Um, but yeah, um, the jeggings themselves are actually cropped. They finish like just underneath my knee. I think that's called like capri length or like cropped length, something like that. But this is just not something that I would wear together. I think I would probably wear the top with my higher waisted full length jeggings and then the bottoms with like a longer top. But yeah, I spent a lot of money on these clothes. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. This video wasn't sponsored in any way, shape or form by any of the brands that I've mentioned. I spent my own money on these clothes, so I wasn't paid to say anything nice about them. It's just my real thoughts and opinions. And I'd love to know what you guys thought of this video. This is kind of my first clothing haul type video. And I know it's very different to the content that you guys are used to on this channel, but this is the content that I wanna make at the moment. It's the content that I'm the happiest making. And hey, it says Just Ash up there or down there. I don't know where it is anymore. YouTube moves it all the time. So 
this is the content that you're gonna get for a little while. Please forgive me, like, please stick with me. We will be back to anime eventually. You know, I've got all my anime nerdy stuff, so the nerd isn't gone. She's still here, she just likes fashion now. But anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe. And as always, you can join me next Friday at 8 for the next video.